Hello, uh, here I'm going to show uh, how to switch or change a Profinet Remote I.O. module uh, with a new one uh, from the box, doesn't have any name or IP address or anything. Uh, the one exists on the Ruba right now in the Kuka Ruba, uh, damaged and it needs to be replaced with a new one. So on this video I'm going to show how to assign a name and uh, IP address to this a uh, new remote IO, Profinet remote IO module without even using anything uh, KUKA software or bend in anything. It doesn't matter that now this module is connected uh, with the KUKA network which is the same network uh, like the BLC in this case but doesn't matter um, as long as you are connected to the switch that is it's shared the same network with this module and the robot uh, that's all you that's enough so what you're gonna do is this uh, the easiest way I do it which is I go to TIA Portrait 13 or any software that you can find this uh, module and assign the name for me because I have these softwares on my laptop and they I always use them so I use uh, TIA 13 uh, I go to online and diagnostic access devices and and uh, this in my case also the BLC is in the step seven, uh, programmed by step seven. It doesn't matter here. I'm not doing any programming. All I'm doing is assigning IP addresses. So I'm using uh, TIA thirteen to help me as find the device and assign a name. And another thing is my laptop IP address is completely different than the this module IP address. Uh, um, so that doesn't matter either so you don't it doesn't matter if you know the IP address or not you need to know it to assign the IP address to the module you need to know what IP address you need to assign but uh, in the beginning if you don't know you just want to browse those the, the devices on the network you don't need to know that IP address so here I know uh, it is network and then I, this is my board in the laptop and then search and now it's gonna give me all the devices that connected to the same network I'm connected to. There you go. It, it, uh, it lists all the devices that uh, is connected to the network. Now, the new module, the old module is already now uh, uh, disconnected and the new module is connected. When you do this, right away, uh, this software, TIA 13, it will uh, show you the MAC addresses like this is what this is your key you don't know what the IP address you don't know what the name what issue what, uh, here here in my case now this is the, the new module obviously all of them has IP addresses except this one so this is my the new module and without looking at anything here just looking at the MAC address when I look at the new device when I connected the new device I know the MAC address is, is, is printed on the new device and this is the new MAC address for the new device so here even if the software for example the device got an, an imaginary IP address or it got imaginary name which is in this case the BLC gave it a name but it's not the right name I have to change it but it gave it a name but it didn't give it IP address but even if uh, it gave it IP address whatever from the MAC address I can tell which device I need to change or assign an IP and a new name so in my case, this is the, the case. Now you need to know what's the name you need, it, need, it has to be and what's the IB needs to be so you don't duplicate anything. And it has to be the, it has to be the correct uh, exact name assigned to it. So uh, right here, in my case, uh, is going to be Ruba1, actually, 629DI. And uh, the IB address is going to be 192. 168 1 122 so let's go now assign these for it so you you press you highlight the one you want to uh, assign an IP address and a name and you press show that's how I do it and here it open it for you you go to diagnostic and you, you still you make sure it's open it for you but you make sure you are in the right one by again by the IB uh, by the MAC address and right here, if you go to function, here you can assign the IP address. This, the IP address, and 
then the device name. So the device name we said it's Ruba one di and the mag and the IP address we said one ninety two one six eight one and one twenty two two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five and after I do that I, I say assign like I can let me assign the IP address and the name that's it now when I go back to for example to uh, do a browse again it will show me that device with this and new name and IP address this is my device now it shows the new IP address and it shows a new name and uh, since this match with the hardware configuration in the uh, robot and a BLC, so like it's it's good to go. Uh, I get the green light on the module, and that's it. And again, uh, I'm using TIA thirteen just to help me. Like nothing was programmed by this software. I'm just using it to assign the name and IP address to a Profinet device. And you can do that. Doesn't matter for the Ruba BLC, any any e uh, Profinet device you want to assign an IP address and a, a name to it. You can use the TIA thirteen or fourteen or fifteen whatever version you have to sign to assign the IP address and the name and that's it